project, uh, at one point we're supposed to solve this differential equation. So if you separate it like we've done in the textbook, you know, move dt to the right side, divide both sides by s of t, we get this. And then we want to integrate both sides, right? So you're going to have natural log of s, I'll just use the shorthand notation for s of t. Uh, when you, yeah, when you integrate the left side, that's natural log s, that equals, now you need the integral of this side. And i of t, uh, well, this is, this is what we have in the example project. Your i of t will be different. Uh, but i of t, when you try to integrate that, it's a complicated integral. So you'll want to use the integral calculator that we've talked about in the instructions there. So in order to make that happen, I'm just going to type in what the example i of t is. This is where you'd want to plug in your i of t. And I'm going to use x because it's just easier. It's already in terms of x in the calculator. You could put t in there, and you can actually tell this calculator that your variable is t instead. But, um, so we want this, this to all be divided by 9,000 plus e to the 0.05x. And then close that parentheses. So that's what it looks like when it's all typed in. And that's fine that the four, uh, 400, uh, that, wait, what is that? That's 4,050,000. That's fine that that's over there to the left because that's the same as what I have over here. That's I of T. But uh, according to our differential equation, it's supposed to be negative. This is what we're trying to integrate to, in order to solve this differential equation. We're trying to integrate this side with respect to T. So it's supposed to be negative and it's all supposed to be divided by... 21,600. Okay, so if we hit go now, I mean, the way we typed it in, it could have been simplified, but it doesn't matter when you type it in the integral calculator, right? Uh, that's our input. Looks like they've given us, this is our antiderivative. So the antiderivative of the left side with respect to, uh, with, with respect to t, it's the natural log of the susceptible function, and that equals the antiderivative of the right side, which our calculator just gave us. It's 37,500 divided by e to the t divided by 20, and then on the outside of that exponent. And this is, this is something you could either have typed up, or if you want to write it by hand, that's okay too. And we don't want to forget that constant c. So we're getting closer to the solution. The last part to get S by itself is you need uh, to raise both sides to the, uh, uh, we need to put both sides uh, as an exponent on top of E, right? This is natural log of S. So if you were to put an E down here, that would get rid of the natural log. So it means all this is now in the exponent position of base E. Here, it's probably easier to write it. There we go. And you can just put that C over here. Okay. Um, it's supposed to be in the exponent. There we go. Now I've got it in the exponent. But you can use whatever program you want to type it up. You can just write it by hand and upload a picture into your... Um, into your... Uh, into your uh, presentation file, whatever is easiest for you. So that's the solution. That's what we're looking for. Uh, and look, just make sure to check the uh, the link down here, the example PowerPoint, because if you click that and you open that up, um, looks like this. That'll give you an idea if you're on the right track or not. So we're here at this part. We're trying to solve this differential equation. We just plugged it in the calculator, and our solution looks similar, right? Uh, except. The last thing that I haven't done, which you can do with pen and paper, is solve for C. You're supposed to plug in the initial value information like the instructions say. So that's just like what we've been doing in the course. Plug in zero in for time and then solve for whatever the, the starting susceptible population is for your problem. That will give you what your C is. But that's why that presentation's there, just to give you an idea if you're on the right track. But um, yeah, so the key here is just typing everything into that uh, Antiderivative calculator. You do not have to do that uh, by hand without the use of technology.